In this video, we're going to follow up by talking about the HD Home Run, as mentioned before, and Plex DVR. Okay, so if you're a subscriber to the channel or you saw the previous video, um, I looked at setting up this HD Home Run Connect and what I mentioned was my ultimate aim was to integrate that with my Plex solution. Uh, and this is based on the fact uh, early in September 2016, Plex announced um, the ability to use these network tuners to connect um, into Plex essentially and utilize that for DVR and streaming. So even though I had set this up on the network, everything was working fine using the own app. I really wanted to integrate it into Plex because that's pretty much what I use for all of my media uh, around the house um, and whilst I'm mobile as well. So yeah, um, let's simply just take a look. How easy is it to set it up? How does Plex um, work? How does it see the tuners? How does recording work? How does live streaming work? Um, so let's quickly take you through that. The one thing to make a note of right now at the time of recording, um, two things. Uh, one, this is currently in beta, so you have to download uh, a separate version of the Plex Media Server. So I'm setting up a standalone installation of that just for testing this. Uh, and you also have to be a Plex, um, Plex Pass um, subscriber. So you can either pay uh, a monthly, annual or lifetime fee. I'm a, I'm a lifetime member because I utilize it so much. I think it's great value for money. Okay, so let's hop on the computer and uh, let's step through this. Okay, so just set up a, a new Plex server just to test this out without disrupting uh, the system that I use every single day. So really easy, just install the server on my Mac. Uh, not interested in any libraries right now, don't need that um, for this. I'm sure we can set up a folder um, just for the TV as we get to that section. So get rid of those, that's all good. Uh, don't need to send any data right now, complete that. That's my existing server. Let's move to the beta one. Okay, right. All is empty. Let's go to settings, scroll down here. So if you're using the beta now, we see the DVR section. Set up the DVR. Okay, wow. Well, straight away, it sees the HD Home Run Connect device. So let's add that. It's uh, got the channel listings already from previously, so 141 channels. Let's tell it where we live. So, United Kingdom, language, let's uh, put in some postcodes, see if it understands what we're looking for. Okay, it doesn't like the full postcode, not quite sure where that is. Let's try a different one. Oh, okay, it looks like it only wants the first half of the postcode, so let's put that in. And away we go, so it's just going to... Download the, the channel guide, so yep, Central Midlands area, that makes perfect sense. So let's click continue. Looking good, so DVR setup is complete. You find the programming guide, recording schedule, da da da. You can still use it whilst we are downloading. Excellent, right, so let's have a little look. Okay, so you can see on the left there, the program guide is spinning as it's downloading. You can see at the top there, EPG 0%, so that's starting to do stuff. Uh, we can see the starting now, so, well, starting soon and on right now, so that's interesting. So I wonder if we look at the on right now stuff, if that means we can live stream it. I hope it does. Um, really wondering how long it's going to take to build that EPG. It still says 0%, but obviously stuff is feeding in. So, kind of curious. I'm really loving the fact that you have the pictures and then a bit of information about it. Oh, upcoming movies as well, excellent. So, if you're really just interested in movies and sports, you've got some focus there and the news. Never anything good on the news. Um, I'm right now, Babe Station, of course. Right, let's see what else is on right now. See if there's anything that we can try and live stream and see how that works. I like how it says that how long the program has left. So 16 minutes left for most of these, because I guess it's uh, finishing on the hour. It's nearly 10 p.m. right now. 
Okay, let's check out this Ripper Street. So, okay, do not seem like we have any option other than a record button. It's, it's in standard definition, so I guess let's try and record it and see what happens. Okay, as expected, we don't have a library for storing TV, so let's just create that and uh, store it locally. Let's just put it on the desktop or something. No, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter where it is, just somewhere in a place that you can uh, find it to close down later. Okay, users. Desktop, good. Pop it in there. Uh, away we go. Add library. Uh, okay, we should be good. Good to go. Right, so. Yep, yeah. press record. There we go, just record just this episode, add it to the TV shows folder, press record. And recording scheduled. So I assume that means it's recording now. Yep, there we go, we can see it in uh, the recording schedule. I guess that, that the circle progress shows that you know the TV show is nearly completed. I guess that's 16 minutes left. Uh, interesting, it doesn't show uh, in the TV shows right now. I guess it doesn't get appended to that folder until the recording is completed. I wasn't sure if it had kind of partial content that could be kind of rewound. So kind of like um, you're watching live TV, but, you know, a few minutes behind. Let's see if we can schedule something else to record as well to see how that dual tuner capability works. So both of these programs will be on at the same time. So what we do is um, EVG is still building 16%. So let's uh, cut forward. Um, so I pause this now and we will resume in which will be about kind of nine minutes for me, obviously a, a nanosecond for you and see where things are right now. Okay, we're back. It looks like it has started recording, which is excellent. Program guide still building. TV shows folder still empty. So I, I guess it's not going to put it there until the, the program is finished. Program guide is now at 73% though, so a lot more uh, shows in there. I really do like um, how it's presented so that we can look at what's been populated. Okay, so we just jumped forward in time a little bit more. Ripper Street is about to finish, so let's see what happens when that comes to an end. I think one thing that will be interesting, it's been a long time since I record anything, but obviously sometimes programs run over their scheduled allotment. So does it extend or does it lose your hard stop at a certain time? That'd be interesting to see how it copes with that. Okay, just a few more seconds, I think, until this finishes. It's like watching paint dry, but in a graphical format. Okay, it's finished. The little record button's gone. You get the pop-up there, matching the metadata for Ripper Street on Betaplex, downloading the metadata. Excellent, excellent. Right, now we have a play button there. So I'm guessing we could just press play from there. Let's just see if it's in the TV shows that was empty before though. No, it is there. It's got the artwork. Everything looks snazzy. Bit of information about the series. And let's play. So obviously this is gonna be standard definition, not HD. So we're not expecting it to be like a, a world changing image, but that's a really, good clear image playing really smoothly uh, I've muted it uh, on the machine just so that we don't have copyright issues with the sound and everything but uh, it looks good skipping through it works really well as as well so that's excellent no I'm happy with that let's um, have a look again at the schedule see if we can play it from within there that play button Yep. Okay. Looks like it's loading. And we can resume. Excellent. No, I'm happy with that. Let's quickly just skip forward to the end. 
and see does the program just cut off or does it kind of extend if it was running long and then uh, we'll call it a wrap. Oh, and that was the end. So it does cut things off. So there we go. Okay, so yeah, that was really easy. Like, plug and play easy, right? Just like the installation and setup of the HD Home Run itself. So really impressed. Um, recording seems to work flawlessly. Obviously dual tuner, so you can record multiple things. I really like um, the previews, so you can kind of see uh, picturally kind of what's happening, you know, what's on now, what's coming up next. Um, the one slight disappointment, um, I guess I must have misread something somewhere, no live streaming, so only recording. So even though you see uh, information on what's on now, uh, you can't click that and view what's on now. You can only record, you know, the remaining uh, information of that episode. So not the end of the world. I, I really hardly watch any live TV. Anyway, this was more, you know, geeking out. This would be a nice thing to have um, and be able to record stuff uh, if we can't catch it on, um, you know, replay or something. So. I have messaged uh, the guys at Plex to see if they have any um, plans for the live stream. Uh, I'm not a coder person by any means, but it would seem to be relatively easy to enable that functionality. Perhaps not something they're interested in, um, but I would really love to see that feature integrated natively. I know there are certain plugins that you can get to kind of circumvent and get this working, um, but I'm kind of past the time where I just want to spend hours faffing around and messing and then when something updates, something breaking. So I just prefer these things to be native. So yeah, I think it's great. Um, Plex DVR with a HD Home Run Connect network tuner. Awesome. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.